Hey guys, it is Julie here with Tip Ranks, and today we're taking a look at three stocks that Wall Street analysts rate a strong buy. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here. Today, we've used the Tip Ranks stock screener to find three stocks that come in with a strong buy consensus from Wall Street analysts. So we're gonna take a look at these companies, what it is that they do, and what analysts are predicting for the stock's future. Found under research tools over on the Tip Ranks website, with the stock screener, we're looking for stocks that come in with a strong buy consensus from both the best and all analysts with a price target of over 20%. I wanted them to trade on the major exchanges and also score an outperform rating on the tip rank smart score and that gave us our list down below first up we're taking a look at elf beauty they trade under the ticker elf currently priced just shy of 110 dollars per share year to date the stock has seen growth of 98 percent and has cooled off slightly in the last few months down 3.8 percent they do score a 10 out of 10 on the tip rank smart score with bullish blogger sentiment and very positive crowd wisdom elf beauty is focused on creating quality makeup and skincare at affordable prices they started back in 2004 with their elf cosmetics with the idea of selling premium cosmetics for just one dollar over the internet they have expanded greatly since then with several brand lines sold in major stores across the country this summer elf announced plans to acquire skincare brand naturium Naturium is a high-performance, clinically effective, biocompatible, accessible skincare. And skincare is a big focus for Elf Beauty lately, as they're one of the fastest-growing skincare brands. And that growth was certainly reflected in their last earnings report back in August, where they nearly doubled expectations around earnings. The next quarter will be coming out on November 1st. For their Q2, analysts will be looking for earnings per share of 52 cents, but in the last quarter they were looking for 57 cents and ELF reported earnings per share of $1.10. On top of that, they delivered 76% net sales growth. They said that as they look ahead, they believe they're in the early innings of unlocking the full potential they see for ELF Beauty and were raising their fiscal 2024 outlook to reflect the continued momentum. Just last week, an analyst from Bank of America reiterated their buy rating on the ELF stock. The analyst said that they remain optimistic about ELF's future. The expectation is for ELF to double its market share in color cosmetics in the next four to five years, expand ELF skin, and add distribution for Naturium, building an international presence. Also, ELF's Beauty Squad loyalty program has almost 4 million members and is responsible for 80% of their sales on their own website. This has seen a 25% increase in growth year over year. Ahead of the next earnings report, the ELF stock currently has 12 analyst ratings coming in as a strong buy. With 10 buy ratings and 2 holds, the average price target for the ELF stock is $142, which would be an upside potential of 29%. Down below, we can see recent ratings from just this past week. Uh, Bank of America here with an upside of nearly 23%. On the low end, we actually have a buy rating a bit lower than the hold with a 4.6% and a high-end price target of 38% upside. Our second strong buy stock is Wix.com. They trade under the ticker WIX, priced at above $86 per share. Now they have seen some ups and downs, and in the past year have come out fairly flat, but year-to-date are up 14% and have traded fairly sideways in the last three months. They do score a 9 out of 10 currently on the tip rank smart score. Wix is a software company that makes it easy for non-coders to build their own website. They offer a user-friendly website building platform, and their intuitive technology and powerful built-in features give their users the freedom to design professional websites with ease that look amazing on any device. They offer a lot more than that though, as they have a complete set of tools to build your online presence from getting found on search engines to building your business. The company is working on integrating artificial intelligence into their site building. And they do already have several AI generation options for site creation, but now they're betting on algorithms over templates to build custom sites. Wix will let you build an entire website using only AI prompts. Wix will be sharing their Q3 report on November 9th, and big year-over-year -year growth is expected. Analysts will be anticipating earnings per share of 68 cents, well ahead of last year's 6 cents per share, and those earnings per share have been growing quite drastically this past year. In their last quarter back in August, they reported earnings per share of $1.26, more than double the anticipated 59 cents per share. 
They also saw a second quarter revenue of $390 million, exceeding expectations. Their management said that they continue to be at the forefront of AI technology with the introduction of exciting AI and Gen AI driven products coming soon to all Wix users. One analyst from UBS just initiated coverage on the Wix stock last month. While they did name Squarespace as their top pick in the web builder space, they said they are followed closely by Wix. If Wix can deliver low teens revenue growth and cost discipline on a quarterly basis, the shares should grind higher, along with consensus estimates. The firm says the company has right-sized its cost structure, cutting over $215 million in annualized expenses. Overall, the stock comes in as a strong buy with 18 current ratings. With 14 buys and 4 holds, the average price target of $118 would imply upside potential of 37%. Down below, we can see that rating from UBS coming in at $125, which would be an upside of 45%. There are several at the 50% price target there, and a low end hold here with an upside of 16%. And our third strong buy stock is Mercado Libre. Trading under the ticker MELI, they're definitely not the cheapest stock out there, currently priced at over $1,200 per share, and that's after growth of 40% in this past year. Over the last three months, they ended up fairly sideways here at 2.7%. Mercado Libre is a Latin American e-commerce company. Often dubbed the Amazon of Latin America, they also offer payments and lending solutions, along with a robust ad business and logistics division. They say their purpose is to democratize commerce and financial services to transform the lives of millions of people in Latin America. They are the largest e-commerce and payments ecosystem in Latin America, enabling their users easier and better ways to pay and sell. They'll be sharing their next quarterly report on November 2nd, and once again we have some big year-over-year growth on earnings expected. For their Q3, analysts will be anticipating earnings per share of $5.88, more than double last year's $2.56. This follows their Q2 report where they reported revenues of $3.42 billion and earnings per share of $5.16, coming in ahead of analyst expectations. With 15 current analyst ratings, their strong buy comes from 13 buys and 2 holds. And an average price target of $1,636 would be an upside potential of about 35%. Down below, we can see some ratings coming in this past month. A lot of them are about a few months old. On the low end, we have a hold with an upside of 11% and a high end of 51%. Looking back, the rest are a few months ago, so we'll see a lot of them updated following that next report. So that is a quick look at three stocks with a strong buy consensus from Wall Street analysts. Let me know your thoughts on these companies in the comments down below and if any of them catch your eye. I always love hearing from you guys. Please keep in mind these videos are never a suggestion to buy or sell any specific stock, just providing some insight and entertainment. So please make sure you always do your own research and due diligence. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you back here next time.